Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkanes and Hello Arenes part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Understand the concepts of SN1 reaction first. See, in SN1 reaction, it is something like this. I have a lady here. We had discussed this in the class 11th also and this guy here. So, it is totally surrounded by security guards. Maybe, right, there is no place for someone to attack or she is powerful enough that she will not move. Any of these can happen, right? So, if a nucleophile comes and want to attack, nucleophile will not find place because they are all security guards here. Correct? Nucleophile will not find space. Also, the lady is powerful. Maybe. Maybe the lady is not powerful, but she's, since she is covered by all these security guards, the nucleophile won't be able to attack. So, the only possible scenario is if the lady here is bored and she on her own leaves the space right if she vacates the space on her own there can be so many reasons why because limit maybe the environment is such a way that no it's more pollution here right no some more pollution or some someone is someone has come and is banging the uh, door or something some noise is there so the lady is not happy with the current environment right she may leave on her own maybe someone has come and she's scared of that there can be a number of reasons but the reason why she is leaving is not this nucleophile, right? She is leaving because of something in this environment. Maybe in chemical world, uh, the environment has got more H plus ions, so she is inclined to you know, uh, get hooked to it or something happens, right? Or maybe uh, when some handsome guy is here and she is attracted to the guy and she is going. But the fact I am trying to say is this lady is not impacted by or not influenced by this nucleophile, right? So she is totally secure. And when she feel that, okay, now let me leave the place, I don't like this place anymore, she leave the place and then this nucleophile will come and sit. This is a typical example of SN1 reaction where the reaction is totally dependent on this lady. She is the one who controls, right? Because if she will not leave the place, she will not be, this nucleophile, baby nucleophile will not be able to get the place, right? So it is only this particular atom here which determines a step or you can say that only the substrate right because this is part of substrate this is a substrate which de determines the rate of the reaction this kind of reaction is called SN1 reaction right where the nucleophile will not be able to influence this lady to move only if this lady moves on her own then only she can take the position this kind of reaction is called SN1 reaction because here we are seeing a substitution this nucleophile is substituting this but here if you see this was this lady which decided to move right this nucleophile was not having any power to influence this rich lady to move right this kind of reaction is called sn1 reaction we'll see the concept sn1 stands for substitution nucleophilic unimolecular so unimolecular says that the rate determining step is unimolecular there is only one molecule rate determines the rate here also we saw the rich lady determined the step it was her decision to move then only the nucleophile attacked else the reaction was not possible and that's why since it is dependent on only one thing and that nucleophile may decide to leave the product uh, sorry reactant or may decide to stick with the reactant so the decision may take time so it, these kind of reactions really slow that is i will we'll discuss about this this is the typical example, no, forget that world now, this is the chemistry world now. So I have a BR and I have CS3. So this, this CS3 is acting like a security guard, right? So here my OH- minus from H2 is trying to attack, right? Trying to attack this carbon. But there is no place, no place, no place to attack. What should I do? This is the carbon. This is the carbon which this OH- minus is trying to attack, right? So there is no way this OH- minus can attack because these security guards are there. Because the steric hindrance or security guard, whatever you can say, this OH minus is not able to attack this BR. Now, in this case, this BR, if the BR leaves on its own, then only the reaction will happen. This will show you the uh, steps. So, if you see here, the BR is the rich lady here, she leaves on her own, right? And this cation we got is a stable cation. Why? This carbocation is 3 degree, right? This carbon is linked to 3 carbon stable cation so this also favors the leaving of br minus right because whatever i am getting here is stable so 
br minus left easily right so also had this been iodine here it will be all the more easy because we are told that iodine is a better leaving group so there are so many factors which determines whether the halogen here will leave or not depends on if the carbon which is which it is this halogen is linked to is a 3 degree 2 degree or 1 degree if it is 3 degree the carbocation formed is very stable so there is a extra reason for this halogen to leave if the halogen is iodine it will have all the more extra reason to sleep and sometimes with the protic solvent also uh, there is an extra chance that uh, the br minus or the halogen will leave we'll discuss about those things later just understand that in this kind of reaction the halogen here they leave on their own wish so since they leave on their own wish this step is very slow and since this is the slower step this is the rate determining step right and this depends only on the the mood you can say mood of br minus 2 or any other halogen to leave and once i have got the stable cation oh minus can easily attack this it has got this place to attack and can form this one and from here my h is out and i get this correct so this h2 attack this and i got this and from there h plus comes out and it gets high minus. This is the reaction mechanism, but here this is the slowest step and this is fast. This is also very fast. So the rate determining step is the one in this guy. And in this thing, the only thing that is playing role is Br minus. And also experimentally it has been seen that that the reaction depends only on the substrate concentration, only on the concentration of this because See, OH- is not having any role, only when it finds a carbocation, it goes and, and sticks to it, right? So OH- is not having any power to influence this Br to come, correct? So OH- is not having any role, so the reaction depends only on the substrate con concentration. So what they have done is, they have taken the chart and uh, they have taken, they have uh, seen the reaction, they have increased the concentration of substrate and they saw that the reaction rate is increasing. They have increased the concentration of uh, this reagent they saw that there is no change in the reaction. So with that, they concluded that the rate of this reaction depends only on the concentration of substrate. Correct? Logically also, if you see this kind of reaction, this is substrate which determines the rate of this reaction. That's why it's called SN1. Correct? Please note it is SN1. That means it is unimolecular. The rate determining step is only one guy. But it is two step actually. This is one step and these two are one step actually. There are two step process. One is the Br minus leaves, it forms carbocation. The second is OH minus attack and forms alcohol. Correct. So let's understand more about SN1. So SN1 is generally carried out in the protic solvent, as I told, for example, water or alcohol, acetic acid. It helps in SN1 reaction. It helps the Br minus to leave easily. For example, I have some compound like this and I have a Br. So the moment Br minus leaves, if there is an H plus, it can combine, right? So there is there has to be reason for Br minus to leave because Br minus will be floating around, it won't be happy. But if it gets H plus, the protons and the protic solvent, it will be happy to form HBr. So the protic solvent adds to the effect. The protic solvent makes uh, this reaction faster. It occurs in two steps, as I told. In first step, the carbocation is formed, and the second step, the uh, OH minus or the nucleophiles attacks the carbocation. Step one is the slowest step, as I told. This step, right, is the slowest step. This is the slowest step because it involves breaking of CX bond. Just make it generic, right? Any any CX bond, CI or CBr or CL. Correct, and it it is fast if there is a protic solvent because the protic solvent it can absorb this. It can absorb this reaction will move in the forward direction more, right? So it it helps. The protic solvent helps here. Here only the substrate de decide the rate of reaction because this is the thing which decides the rate of the reaction. However, OH minus you add, it doesn't matter because it'll it'll its job is only to uh, attack carbocation. So carbocation formation is the slowest step. So only the substrate decides the rate of the reaction. Strong nucleophile is not mandatory. As I told the nucleophile doesn't have much role, even if it is very strong, since there are security guards here, right? This this is all methyl group, right? They won't allow this strong, even strong neutrophile to attack. So even the nucleophile is strong, it doesn't matter, right? Because it's totally covered. This is totally safe. It's totally safe. 
Only when the Br feels it has to leave, it will give place for this nucleophile. So the strong nucleophile is not mandatory for this, it doesn't matter. Greater the stability of carbocation, the greater is the chance of SN1 reaction. For example, I have, let's suppose, CH3Cl. So CH3Cl will not have, a, what do you call, a good, a valid reason to form CH3+. Plus. Why? Because this is not stable, right? This is not stable. This is not stable. But if you see this kind of compound where you have you know, 3 degree or 4 degree carbocation is more stable. So if it is 2 degree or 3 degree, it is more likely that it will go for a SN1 reaction because the carbocation is more stable and the carbocation stability matters a lot. It matters a lot. The more stable is the carbocation, the better is the chance for SN1 reaction. So as I told, similarly, 3 degree alkyl halides go with SN1 faster, right? Because 3 degree, so 3 degree carbocation is more stable, so it has more chance of going SN1 reaction. Allylic and benzylic halide also shows reactivity towards SN1 reaction. Why? Because they are stable. They are stable by resonance. So let's see this allylic carbocation. I have CH2 double bond, CH, CH2 plus. This is my allylic carbocation. Let's suppose I had X here, I removed X, this is allylic carbocation. And if you see, it is stable by resonance. This is stable by resonance, right? This bond may break, it will form a bond, it will become positive. It's stable by resonance. So, also if you see the benzylic halides, so a benzylic halide is something like this. A benzene, I have a CH2Cl, a Cl is gone, this becomes CH2. Plus. So if you see, this is also stable by resonance. Let me draw this. So, if you draw the structure of this, so what will become is Let me draw like this. Instead of this, let me take this. This, this, and this. Don't take the ring, it will be difficult for me, right? So let's draw this. So this bond breaks into minus and plus. So here you got plus, minus plus forms a double bond, CH2, and this. Again, this bond breaks minus and plus, so it will form somewhere here plus. In form a bond, double bond, CH2, and this is again there. In form a more structure, this guy, this bond breaks minus and plus. It forms a bond here. It forms a bond here. It forms a plus here, and double bond CH2. And again, this will form again this. If they see, there are four resonating structures. So with this, I can say that the carbocation form in allylic and benzylic halides are stable. Since the carbocation form in allylic and benzylic cations are stable, they have more tendency for SN1 reaction. Also, as I told, better the living group because it all depends on the substrate, right? The better is the living group, the better is the chance for SN1 reaction. So Ri, as I told, iodine is big in size, so there's a high chance of uh, iodine is a very big, very very good living group because iodine is, uh, this Ri bond is very weak. Iodine size is very big, so this has more chance of SN1 reaction over RF or RCl. Why? Because this bond is weak and it can easily break into R plus and I minus. Correct. So SN1 reaction depends on a lot of factors. If it is protic solvent, it helps to form SN1 reaction. As I told, the slowest step is the step one where the substrate where the leaving group leaves and forms a carbocation. So for leaving group to leave, there can be so many factors. If it is a protic solvent, it helps. If the carbocation form is stable, it helps. For example, allylic, benzylic or tertiary carbocations, right? Uh, in this case, and strong nucleophile doesn't make much difference here. Substrate is the one that decides decide the rate of reaction. And the better is the leaving group, the better is the chance for SN1 reaction. So RI is, has the better chance of SN1 reaction. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.